enabling positive growth and development. I think more bike tracks in Takika Golden Bay. So a healthy and sustainable natural environment is the one I've chosen from the um, long-term planning documents. Um, I think uh, for all the decisions um, that are being made by the council on, on our behalf, they need to bear in mind the changing climate because um, that's going to affect everything, whether it be water, planning, protecting species. I'd like to see the council yeah, continuing to enhance biodiversity um, with habitat restoration um, and education on the environment. Well, for me, a uh, healthy and sustainable natural environment is definitely the most priority. Like improve water quality, land management. One of the most issues here in Golden Bay is the water quality. I think keep the general public update with some uh, simple, easy words that people can, from the general, can understand and to actually have a feel that actions has been taken. Well, looking through the ones here, the healthy and sustainable natural environment and a strong and resilient and inclusive communities are both important things, I think, and how to communicate with the communities and the individuals to make those things work. So just putting like information out through schools, definitely, and through things like having just community things at a library or somewhere else and just kind of spreading information and communicating like throughout the whole process. Well, just looking at your four um, points, the enabling positive growth and development, actually what I w would quite like um, the council to do is I know of a lot of people who actually can't find anywhere to live, there's not enough houses. But what I would quite like is that the council lobbies government so that um, it's easier to build or, or provide housing because it's for people who have been living here for their whole lives, suddenly they find themselves on the street. It's not right.